Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm, take two. Today in the chapel we have Isaiah 41, 10. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you in your righteous right hand, in my righteous right hand. So that's from my uh, Bible study. <coughs> mm. Okay, so... Honestly, I have been working on little things, getting things done. I did one thing that will be for the future. Um, first, I finished this little guy. It's for a friend of mine. And this is her Easter. And I think he came out cute. I love him. He is her little Easter bunny. Um, she's got the bird that I made, the little poop turd emoji thing and she is lining her car with them she's not allowed to have anybody else in the car when she drives so these little creatures are her friends to talk to and all that stuff so all right the other thing that i've been working on is this so i made quite a lot of progress with you. Now I've got some strings I have to cut off um, some other things but I have and I was to the top where I was sewing the tops and I haven't gotten the other one done yet. This one will go over here and then I have this and I'm working the back as one piece um there's not going to be any seams down the side so every and this is just a little pattern that i've done um dang it had it all so nice and then i just flipped it crazy uh But I have the armholes all done. Of course, it's going to go right here. And then this is going on down. I've been doing 10 singles and 15 doubles. And it kind of gives it just a textured pattern. So it is what it is. And it's coming along quite nicely. Uh, I hope to have enough. I want to make it really longer um i also want to maybe look at putting in some sleeves and just doing them in the round so it'll depend on a lot of things um i don't know if i'm going to do short sleeves i've honestly thought about it but it all comes down to where the length is and then I've thought about putting pockets on it. So it'll come down to how much yarn I have. Um, I've got 2,000 yards. So, well, well over. This is that one that I spun. It's two pounds. Looking for that little thing. Or the total one is. Um, and I don't know where the total one is, but it was like 2,100 and some odd yards. So I'm hoping to uh, get it down to mid thigh, have pockets on it, and maybe some sleeves. We'll see how much yarn I have uh, as to far, how far I get. Um, really, that's all I've been working on. I've been doing a lot of spring cleaning. Um, we all know it's that time of year again. Uh, I've been cleaning up my bedroom. I am the world's worst at not putting my clothes away. That is my biggest thing. And then if I go digging for something in there so I can do a project, I make a mess because it's all in totes. So half the time I spend my time putting it back, putting my bedroom back together. And uh, yeah. So, the other thing that I did, 
and this is just kind of for inspiration and I'm gonna do it for at least six months um but we'll see how it goes um it'll give me six months to decide if I really like it if I really like it I'll keep going if not well uh so I did this dang it I get this one all right there it is it's called so what box they of it says they're gonna double my first box I don't know if that means I'm gonna get two or what but you get a pre-cut project which y'all know I can make patterns so it is what it is and then you get fabric and little notions and so it's kind of like the crochet club only it's sewing and this time I'm looking for inspiration on things to make for the kids for Christmas I don't know what kind of projects they will be I'm hoping it's not something I've already done uh yeah it's what it is so I will let you know how that goes and of course if I get it you get one a month so each month I should have a project to show you and maybe do a little unboxing and see what it is um, worst case scenario is I cancel in six months so anyway yep that is all I've been doing like I said uh, spring cleaning cleaning out stuff uh, went through the house yesterday the only thing I didn't get done was the dusting replanted a bunch of plants that I had that needed um, new soil I had two that were uh, they're two huge spider plants and they should have their pots should have had enough room they should have been exploding and they were barely hanging on and <clears throat> I had changed the watering schedule I had um, done everything that I thought I could do and they just weren't perking up they weren't great so I came to the conclusion that it probably was a potting soil it had been in there for literally years and when I took them out of their pots uh, the bottom had so compressed and compacted that yeah it was horrible they weren't root bound or anything but um I took them and put them both in one huge pot and put fresh soil in there that's a lot looser and um, the water drained out a lot quicker and so I think that's going to do a lot better and it perked up the two of them together perked up pretty good so we'll see um but I've got others it's not like they're it's just the, the oldest ones and all the ones I have with the exception of one are off of that one plant so yeah we'll see how that goes and I've got a couple of babies that I'm still doing and uh then I took my two um poinsettias and I put them in, a, in the other huge pot since I was only going to use one to put the two in the two spider plants in I took one and put both little poinsettias in it and it made one huge bush so I'm hoping to have a poinsettia bush that goes in and out of the house so we shall see um, in the wild poinsettias are actually um, outside down in Florida and they make big trees bushes whatever you want to call it so I will have a medium-sized bush because I'm gonna make it stay to this one pot uh, but other than that that's really all I've been doing um, doing my day-to-day -day. last week at work was not fun um, I have scheduled some time off the first part of April I have a month before I get a six day weekend and I'm gonna make sure that I have a couple of days just to me um, on that six day weekend so anyway really not a lot going on but I mean you guys just saw everything I've been working on uh, this 
little thing right here is what I've been sitting and working on every evening and all that. So I got the first three pieces. I'm going to sew the top together today, um, the other half of it, and I'm going to clean up some of the, the strings that I have <coughs> coming off there so that when I am working, I'm just going across one. But uh, yeah, that is honestly about it. I know it makes it for a short podcast, but um, it'll come down to how much uh, yarn I have as to how far I get and how far that develops because I'm not going to not finish it. I, I want to have a usable cardigan, even if it doesn't have sleeves or is short sleeve, whatever, you know. So I'm hoping to be able to do that and get it to a point where it's usable. So basically I've been working on that. Uh, yesterday I didn't mow. I mean, there's a lot of stuff going outside because of the weather back and forth. This morning it's cold again, but last night, yesterday, it was nice. Um, just a warm up date after a week of his medication and that shot, he is back to being his normal self. Uh, no more itchies. I got to give him a bath, but I haven't done that today. It's been kind of nippy, so I didn't want to get him out and get him cold in the weather. And then yesterday, I didn't want to do it while I mowed the yard because he would go outside and roll, and it would have been bad. Would have been bad. He would have been filthy. So anyway, just everyday life, working on a few things as I go. The main thing is to... um Get some spring cleaning done. That's where I'm concentrating right now. So, uh, I did a little grocery shopping too, but nothing extravagant or, you know, so we'll see. All right. I'm gonna get off here. I got to get ready for work and I still have like my workout to do. So it's quarter to seven and I still got that to do, get ready for work and get gone. I still have my hair to do. My curl and irons here haven't got it done, but yeah, got a lot I got to get done. So I will talk to y'all later. You have a great day and a great, amazing week. And thanks for watching. Bye.